Swami Virajananda was a disciple of Holy Mother who served Swami Vivekananda and was the seventh president of the Ramakrishna order. His earlier name was Kali Krishna Bose. Swamiji sent him for relief work to Dayagor and to Bangladesh for preaching work. He developed at Voita Ashram in the Himalayas and worked on the biography of Swamiji and popularized the Prabhuda Bharta. Could you please tell us when you first met Swami Virajananda and what were your impressions of him? Before I start, let me show his picture. This is Swami Virajananda. And this is his picture, it's a little younger days. Yeah, yeah, as a president, of course, with his beard and all that, he looked very interesting and everybody was impressed. There is a story he himself told to another Swami in Nippon. See, I have got a wonderful disciple. He wrote to me, Maharaj, uh, Thakur had beard and you have beard. What is the significance of beard? <laughs> he used to tell stories. Anyhow, he, had, he was in the Himalayas for many years. As you know, he, as a boy, he joined. He was the first young man to join Bharanagar Mont. He had malaria. Mother sent him back to home. More than a year he was there, recovered. Then again, with mother's permission, came back. Mm, home, he originally said, I want to study mathematics with Swami Ramakrishnanda, who loved mathematics. Of course, there was no time for studying and all that. He was working whole day. Those stories have come out. Anyhow. When, what were your first impressions of him when you met him? When I met him, he was general secretary in 1937 when I went for initiation. Uh, initiation. So, for a, so for some time, he became the general secretary. When Swami Akhundananda became president, he wanted him uh, in his place of Swami Shuddhananda. So he became general secretary, and Shuddhananda. The, then, uh, then Akhundanji passed away, Vigyananda, he was still the general secretary. And then <clears throat> I saw him, in the, in the, he was in the Leggett house, backside there's a house. He was, looked much younger, beard was black, I think. And I had Darshan saluted, of course, more than once, but I had not talked at that time. I think, uh, it so, was a very wonderful looking person. But at that time, my attention was with Ansha Bhigyananda. He was the president and my guru. And Ansha Vishuddhananda, who loved me very I thought he loved me very much. So I did not too, too much think about him. Uh, a great Swami, all are great Swamis. Everybody is great, that idea. So, did but you see him again after that yes, time you met him that, at Bellarmat? Then he became president. When I came, he became president, and that is the time. I by that time I joined also. I joined, and I was to become a brahmacharya under him. Uh, I had to have brahmacharya. So I remember when we, for one year I had my hair and everything, it didn't remove. Then Prabhupada General Secretary, they were transferring me to the Madras. Oh, change your dress and all that, and God take it from uh, Kali Krishna Maharaj. Prabhupada told me, I don't know Maharaj, only a few days to go, I should shave it on the way. I felt shy at that time. Anyhow, I took leave of Maharaj, at that time became president. Then later, I went, I should not say later, just when I joined, I went to Dharadun, Sir Kishan put his study under Jagadanandish. At that Shat Krishna was also staying there, st studying. At that time, Kali Krishna was, was staying in Dharadun in the house of his classmate, a doctor. So I went to see him. I was alone with him. And he was 
Abul Babuli has spoken. So what to ask? Maharaj, the devotion, bless me. A few words he told, a blessing type. And unfortunately, I did not have any question. And I could not chit chat because I chit chatted with some Shuddhanda by letters, not face to face. So I really did not ask him any serious question. Only I asked to bless me, and he blessed me and sat quietly. Uh, that is the impression. He felt a sort of calmness, seriously, because he was so calm, unmoved. So I Bhaisyan had an interesting story. He was his disciple. Once he went and told Maharaj, give me a little advice about Vedanta Radvaita. So he kept silent a little, then said, read the song of the Sannyasi. <laughs> uh, that everything you'll get. And that is how, when he came back to America, he introduced it. Previously, he used to read every day. He introduced every day they used to chant mm -hmm. Song of the Sinnasin. And that is true that one poem, almost gist of Vedanta and Swamiji's ideas you get. Mm -hmm. huh. um, then we were to have Brahmacharya, but he was very sick. We used to go and see him. And then he passed on without giving Brahmacharya. So we are delayed, one year we are delayed that way. We have seen many times, saluted many times, but as I say, we did not ask questions normally. So would you say you were impressed by his calmness and serenity, or was it something you expected of him? We expected this much that a sort of a spiritual atmosphere, we will uplift it. We did not ask anything for ourselves. And of course, I expected him to be my Brahmachari or Sannyas Guru, but we missed him. Though most of my uh, age group, they were disciples of him. They never thought that I am a disciple of earlier Swami Vigyananda. In fact, what Alvora had became, he wrote to me a letter. We recur money for Shamlatal, send some money, I give you a scope to serve your guru. Hmm? Like a little joke, half joke, serious type. Then I had to rate him that I am not his disciple. Unfortunately, I missed him for promotion, yes, but I shall send some money. <laughs> <laughs> so, direct thing, I can't say too much. I know, I had encounter with him, but a few facts about him we could give. Well, Baranagar Mat, he was the first Swami, first Brahmachari, to join. But he went away for one year. But Shuddhanti was made president before him. They are all classmates, I think. Ripon College, they were studying in Ripon College. But he did not study much in the college. But when the time for making him, Shuddhanti was made head, probably because of which he was very active in management and all that. So he became General Secretary first, Virajanda later. He became Vice President first, Virajanda later. He became President. So he was given the respect of his seniority. Though probably Virajanji was technically senior, but he went home for more than a year. So probably in some way they calculated, I don't know. I have a hard story when the time came for Swami Virajanda to become president. He told Bodharanda senior to me, ask him. Mm. Bodharanda was in New York whole life. So they wrote to him. Now the man was so detached. He did not care to become president of the order. <laughs> and with a few people, he was lying down in New York. There are not too many people coming to him also. He was a more strict type of person. In fact, uh, one man wrote Hinduism invades America. 
In that book he wrote, here is a disciple of Vivekananda who says, to get following, I am not going to compromise. I should give an unsullied Vedanta. See, he has no sympathy for people. <laughs> we, we thought as a credit for Bodhananda. So he said, no, let Kalakrishna become there. He stayed in the country, let him be. And he has a both. See, detachment was there. He was on the point of becoming president, he's offering somebody else. He is all offered, whole life is suffered, staying and eating in the hotel, opposite side, practically whole life. Still he did not want to go back. Anyhow, so Kalikrishna was well known for his austerity. What happened, he earned a big name as a man of great, great personal seva of Swamiji, liked him very much. There are a few stories collected with him when they were quite new. Swamiji ordered him and Prakashananda to go to Dhaka. Dhaka is the second city of Bengal, you see. And Calcutta was the favorite of, capital of India at that time, to go there. Then the protest, he protested, no, we are not realized, what shall we talk? Then Swamiji said, no, we don't know anything. We'll go and tell that we don't know anything. Even that will produce result. Yeah. Then later when he was out, he said, what he said is true. We should do sadhana first. But to him, when he came back, he will have to go. If you think about your own salvation, you will go to hell. I don't know whether he said you go to hell. But anyhow, you will not have the progress. You go. And taught them some mantras also. Yeah, a few mantras he also taught both of them. Mm. Later days, Holy Mother taught him more. So that was Virajanandaji. It is said that Holy Mother gave him quite a number of mantras for different temperaments. Mm. Some people give a number, I don't want to quote the number, because it seems 18 mantras he gave. How exactly they knew, I do not know. So I don't uh, told them. Quite a number of mantras Holy Mother gave. Mm. Then the story about this was often quoted, that we must first realize and then go. Then his credit was, he gave a sort of a continuity. He became president for 12 years. Health was very good for many years and then gradually. Then when he joined, Swamiji sent him to Mayavati. Mayavati, Swamiji, when he went, he was his attendant. He went for canvassing. Swamiji in the meantime wanted him to come to serve, but he did not get that news because the others said, oh, he has gone for, did not inform him. Otherwise probably he would have come back immediately. Twice that tried to send him to America. Once everything was almost ready. So the inspiring letters of Swami Turiyanda was to, were to him mm -hmm. because to encourage, come do this work, that work, that way. But he did not agree. Both the times he backed out. In those days, they used to send the fastest men, even Bhavaram Maharaj they wanted to send. Anyhow, so he was helping Swami Swarupananda. He suddenly died, so he was sent back to Mayavati to become head. And then he was living at that time with great enthusiasm. He did four volumes of Life of Swami Vivekananda was published under him. Avedan Rishi, it seems, told that, oh, he was, oh, he must have worked so hard and so painstaking, it has come out very well. I wonder in those days, he must have perfected, when he perfected his English, we don't know. He did not study in college much, a little short time in the college. But the those things, English standard was high, plus probably he was that way brilliant. Other side, he was not shown as a brilliant scholar or this or that. Mm -hmm. But those books he edited and all that. But he was more well known for his austerity. Then, at one time, he gave up the work and went for Tapisya. Uh, Tapisya, uh, a center was started on the way to Mayavati, probably the money was given by Mother Sevier, who was like a mother to him in that center. 
So uh, Shyam Lantol became very famous for his austerity and prayer. That way he spent about up to the convention. That means, say from 1910, 11, about 15, 15 years. Then he was burned down. After that he was not. He was always going back. He met his president six months in Ashamlatal, six months out. Or Shraddhaji was his attendant. Also Atmasthanda, they were all his attendant. Shraddhaji was the secretary for him. And his major credit that he, a continuity that, see, presidents are dying very quickly. See? Because they became old, then only they became. But he suddenly with a good health he came. So he lived for 12 years. Last two years he was sick. But he went to different parts of India and all that. He lived for 12 years as president, you mean? Mm. 12 years as president, president is that yeah. correct? Yeah. From 1938 to 52. More than 51. 51. Uh, end of 38. There were 12 years. And the next president also nearly 12 years, Swami Shankaranda. So these two presidents gave long, length, remain, remaining healthy. That was. And Karakishri Maharaj went to different parts of India and he would not lecture. I have not heard that he has given He has a con most confessed this that he has addressed. But those were written, written lectures, I think, written lectures. And he was the first person to tell that we should have a Sarda mm -hmm. a separate right. mat for women. Because his disciples, some of them, were quite aggressive, Mukti Prana and others. And sure enough, in a few years came centenary holy mothers, and it was started. But he was first publicly requested that we should do something for them. And of course, it fell upon his successor, Sri Shankaranda, to do all those things. But he was the first one to especially strongly support it, idea. Then there is the major activities that he did. Okay, from Any more questions about it? All right.